Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2015 American Western action film called The Ridiculous Six. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. As we begin the film, we see a man named Tommy, also known as White Knife, into a shop run by a man named Clem. Looking to make a purchase, White Knife goes into the basement. Outside the shop, the infamous Left Eye Boys approaches. White Knife's fiance, Smoking Fox, is also outside the shop and is harassed by the Left Eye Boys. White Knife comes out and warns them to stop their actions, but the gang continues. Suddenly, White Knife swoops into action, knocking out one of the Left Eye Boys. The remaining members aim to kill White Knife. Using a sack of flour as a distraction, White Knife swiftly puts an end to their actions. As they go to leave, Smoking Fox reprimands White Knife for his recklessness. Clem comes outside and tries to kill the couple, but White Knife injures him instead, and they both leave. They both return to the tribe, and Smoking Fox is complimented over White Knife's bravery. Suddenly, a man named Frank Stockburn appears, looking for White Knife, claiming to be his father. Later that night, the village chief Screaming Eagle warns White Knife not to trust Frank right away, but to meet him regardless. Later in the night, White Knife has a nightmare about the death of his mother. He wakes up and goes outside to speak to Frank, who tells his son that he is dying. He also wants White Knife's help, finding some money he had stashed away. Both men reminisce about White Knife's mother until the next day. White Knife then tells Frank about the death of his mother and his guilt over it. Suddenly, a man named Cicero and his gang of bandits approach the tribe looking for Frank. Cicero wants Frank, who turns out to be their former gang leader, to tell them the whereabouts of the money he has stashed. Frank lies, telling Cicero that the money is buried at a different location than what he told White Knife. Frank tells Cicero he will lead the gang to the money and he is taken away. Sometime after, White Knife is desperately digging to find the buried money. White Knife decides to steal the money from various places, but Smoking Fox doesn't want him to go. White Knife cuts his hair and disguises himself and hitches a ride into the nearest town. Upon entering the town, he is immediately mocked for his strange ways by the owner of the local bank. Later that evening, White Knife finds out that his father had once stayed at an inn he is sleeping at and finds out some information about the windmill his father mentioned. He also discovers that he has a brother named Ramon. Elsewhere, Ramon is with his donkey Burrow, reminiscing about past adventures. White Knife goes to see Ramon to tell him that they are half-brothers. He tells Ramon about Frank's kidnapping and about his plan to rob the bank in town. Ramon enters the bank with Burrow and hears the owner making some ridiculous comments. The owner is furious that the animal is in the bank and tries to push it out. While the owner is distracted with Burrow, White Knife climbs up into the bank to rob the safe. Outside the bank, a man named Lil Pete laughs at the bank owner's misfortunes. Lil Pete offers to help Ramon with Burrow but Ramon refuses his help. Lil Pete is shocked to hear that Ramon is helping rob the bank, while White Knife mixes the potion that helps him enter the safe. Lil Pete and Ramon get to know each other, and Lil Pete reveals that Frank is his father as well. While he is robbing the safe, White Knife finds a message from Frank about a specific location called Jawbone Falls. The bank owner catches White Knife and attacks him, but he manages to escape. White Knife is introduced to Lil Pete and all three escape out of town. Elsewhere at a secret location, Clem is about to join the Left Eye Boys in hopes of getting revenge on White Knife. However, he is hesitant to take out his right eye as his left does not work, but he eventually does. Meanwhile, the three brothers continue on their journey as they steal money from bandits along the way. During the night, Lil Pete writes to his mom about his new adventures. White Knife tells his two brothers that they are headed to Jawbone Falls, their father's old hideout. White Knife also expresses the severity of their stealing, but Lil Pete is unbothered. The next morning, the trio finally arrive at Jawbone Falls. They enter a shack, but see nobody inside. Suddenly, White Knife is attacked by a wild man named Herm, and Ramon and Lil Pete try to save him. White Knife eventually frees himself and calms Herm down. Herm can't speak English, but he tries to tell the group that he lived there with his now dead mother who makes moonshine for Frank and that Frank is his father. 
The other brothers tell Herm of Frank's kidnapping and their need to steal money. Herm suggests a place called the Gold Nugget Saloon, and that becomes their next destination to rob. Back at the tribe, the Left Eye Boys show up and kidnap Smoking Fox. Meanwhile, in another town, White Knife gets some information about the Gold Nugget Saloon from the local barber. The barber also tells the group about the saloon's notorious owner, a man named Smiley. He continues to tell the group that Smiley used to be a part of Frank's old gang. The brothers enter the saloon and are greeted by Smiley. He is then interrupted by a man named Danny, who is also looking for Frank. Danny begs Smiley to help him find Frank, but Smiley becomes angry, attacking Danny. A piano player named Chico stops Smiley's attack, and things calm down. Danny reveals to the group that Frank is his father as well, and even Chico says that he is Frank's son too. Later that night, the six brothers show off their special skills that might help them during the robbery. As the robbery commences, White Knife and Lil Pete scale the rooftops. Danny and Chico act as a distraction in the saloon. Danny distracts some of the guards by stealing something from the saloon, and Herm captures them. Upstairs in the saloon, Smiley searches for White Knife, but is unable to find him. White Knife uses different voice impressions to disorient Smiley while Chico steals the gold nugget, and Lil Pete pulls it up through the chimney. Smiley runs in fear back to the main area of the saloon, catching Chico, who then yells for everybody to initiate their plan B. Chico grabs the golden nugget and runs out of the saloon, and the group regathers, but are caught by Smiley. Smiley then tells the brothers of Frank's betrayal from their biggest score, which was in Utah, and plans to kill his sons as revenge. Suddenly, Ramon appears and kills Smiley. The brothers congratulate Ramon, and they leave town. Later on that night, safe for White Knife, all the brothers fantasize about what it would be like to finally have a father in their lives. The next morning, the brothers are suddenly woken up by a man named Abner, teaching some people how to play baseball. He says that he knows Frank, having met him down in a town called Yuma playing poker. The brothers ask for more information about the score in Utah, but Abner bargains with them to play a game of baseball in exchange for information. After the game, Abner tells the group of brothers about Frank's biggest score at a location named Sweet Hog Rock. Right now, at the barbers, the Left Eye Boys ask him for information about the brothers that had robbed the saloon. Outside, Clem threatens Smoking Fox, who realizes he is blind and escapes. Making a stop at a nearby town, the brothers use Lil Pete as a distraction to rob the town. Lil Pete is condemned to die while the rest of the brothers rob the town. Later, White Knight frees Pete and they all escape. Elsewhere, the brothers all celebrate, but are interrupted by the Left Eye Boys. The gang attempts to kill the brothers, but Danny saves everyone. Unfortunately, the money that the brothers have gathered is stolen, and the Left Eye Boys ride off with the money. Afterwards, the brothers wonder how they're going to regain the money. White Knife also reveals that Frank is dying. Danny wants to meet Frank so he can tell him a big secret. Danny then reveals to his brothers that he was responsible for the death of President Abraham Lincoln. Suddenly, Herm has an idea on how to get the money back. He suggests going to the poker game in Yuma that Abner had mentioned. They all agree and set off for Yuma. In Yuma, Grant is preparing for his birthday as well as the poker game. General Custer and Mark arrive at his home for the game as well. Grant tells Custer and Mark that they will have a new player joining their poker game, who is Ramon in disguise. Herm and Chico are also in disguise, as well as a manservant and piano player respectively. Outside Grant's home, Danny spots Wyatt joining the poker game. White Knife enters the property disguised as a tumbleweed. Inside, Chico is distracted by Grant's wife, who takes him away. Grant goes on to tell the story about how he met Herm as a young boy, also making nasty remarks about Herm's mother. Herm follows Grant as he goes to get something to drink and kills Grant. Back at the poker game, Wyatt begins to be suspicious of Ramon, but is stopped by White Knife. Having successfully robbed the poker game, the brothers ride out to Sweet Hog Rock. At their destination, the brothers rush to find Frank, but only see the Left Eye Boys, who are buried in the ground. They tell the brothers Cicero was responsible for their plight. White Knife finds a way to track Cicero and his gang, but 
not before freeing the Left Eye Boys. After traveling some ways, they stop at a crossroad. White Knife sees a picture of Frank's old gang, recognizing Cicero as the man who killed his mother. The brothers make camp for the night, and White Knife takes the opportunity to leave them in order to kill Cicero and to keep them safe. White Knife arrives at Silver Mine, who catches up with Cicero's gang and Frank. White Knife gives Cicero the money, but confronts Cicero for killing his mother. He then kills Cicero, but is now threatened by the rest of his gang. The brothers show up to back him up, as well as the Left Eye Boys. There is a tense standoff, but Frank defuses the situation, and the rest of the Cicero's gang ride off. Frank congratulates White Knife, and White Knife introduces his brothers to his father. Frank goes one by one and introduces himself to his sons. And afterwards, White Knife invites Frank to his wedding. Frank refuses, but when his sons tell him of the extra money that they had gotten, he changes his mind. Frank suddenly calls the rest of Cicero's gang back and reveals that he had been working with Cicero and his gang all along. Frank offers for their gangs to join forces, but the brothers refuse. Frank then reveals he has kidnapped Smoking Fox, who tried to rescue Frank. Frank demands the rest of the money, but the brothers switch to plan B and blow up the bag of money that had been taken by Cicero's gang. Chaos ensues as White Knife tries to make his way to Smoking Fox. Frank tries to kill White Knife, but Danny jumps in the way and protects his brother. Injured but alive, Danny salutes his brother. Frank then takes Smoking Fox into the silver mine and White Knife goes after him. During the fighting going on around the mine, Clem realizes that none of the Left Eye Boys have actually taken out their right eye and is furious. Inside the mine, White Knife searches for Frank, having to go deeper inside the dark cave. Unable to find Frank, he uses Smoking Fox's voice to locate and capture Frank. Frank admits that he knew Cicero killed White Knife's mother, but White Knife spares Frank instead of killing him, leaving with Smoking Fox. Back at the tribe, everyone is in attendance for White Knife and Smoking Fox's wedding, together with his brothers. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.